hello everyone and welcome to another video about world of warcraft classic realm list lore today we're having a look at the american and the oceanic realms so then uh, let's start number one on our list is Etiash. it's a pve server and it's in the pacific time zone so Etiash. Etiash is the great staff of the guardian and it's currently wielded by Katkar. It was forged from the Seed of Hate and was wielded by each guardian of Tearsfall. When Medivh was killed, Atish was taken to Dalaran, where it was re uh, revealed that the demon within killed anyone who dared try to will it. So it was locked away in a secret and secure vault for nearly three decades. Following Medivh's death until Dalaran was destroyed by Archimond along with the staff. Etiash was shattered into 42 pieces 40 splinters of the shaft, the base, and the headpiece. The base was formed by Brown Bronzebeard. Unfortunately, he lost it too soon while his exploration of the Temple of Ankyre. The headpiece was located by the, uh, by the archlegged Kaltuzet and the 40 splinters were given to Kaltuzet's lieutenants spread out across his citadel of Nexramas. Number 2 Mancric PvE Eastern Time Zone Mancric and his wife Olgra were fighting Kilbors when they were separated by an overwhelming number in a small torn camp. When he saw that his wife got overwhelmed by newcomers, rage overcame him and he turned to face his enemies. With their vast numbers, they brought him down easily, and he later awoke to a torn druid tending his wounds. Filled with uncertainty whether his wife was still alive or not, he stood at the crossroads every day scouting the horizon for more kill wars to quench his bloodthirst. Number 3 Misrael PvE Pacific Time Zone Mithrael is a princess of the earth, who was driven to madness by the old gods. The mountain giants, who were crafted by the titans to protect the world, trapped her deep beneath the Arati highlands. Only through some crystal shards, she is able to speak with the surface of the world, so she cries for help from the mortal race. Number 4. Pagel, PV, Eastern Time Zone. Ned Pagel, one of the most famous fishermen in Azeroth, and he can be found in Dustwallow Marsh. So, if you're into profession of fishing, you probably already know him, or sooner or later. You will meet him.
All right. Then it's time for the PvP servers. Number one on our list. Ferlina. PvP Eastern Time Zone. The server is named after Grand Widow Felina. It's the second boss of the Spider Wing in Nexomas. And her she is accompanied by four worshippers and two followers. Fairbanks PvP Pacific Time Zone High Inquisitor Fairbanks Former High Inquisitor of the Scarlet Crusade um, He was High Lord Morgren's most trusted advisor and he was present during the meeting in Thalshore that led to the creation of the Ashbringer Sadly for him, he was tricked and led along with the High Lord by Morgren's son Renault to Stratholm, where legions of the Scourge awaited him. But unlike the others he was with, uh, he fell but didn't die. No, he was trapped and hidden under the corpses of the undead. So Fairbanks made his way back to the Skald Monastery and he told the tale of betrayal to anyone who would listen. Those who believed him broke away from the crusade to found the Argent Dawn. Fairbanks was subsequently murdered by the remaining crusades for his blasphemy as well as showing symptoms of the plague. His body was discarded in a secret chamber in the Scarlet Cathedral. Erod PvP Eastern Time Zone. Erod, the Scarlet Champion, is one of the four Scarlet Crusade leaders in the Scarlet Monastery and he can be found in the Scarlet Monastery Armory. Talnos PvP Eastern Time Zone Blood Mage Talnos is an elite skeleton miniboss in the graveyard of the Scarlet Monastery. White Mane PvP Pacific Time Zone High Inquisitor Sally White Mane is the Priestess of the Light and she leads the activities in the Scarlet Monastery. Under her command, the members of the Scarlet Crusade have become even more extreme in their battle against the Scorch. Blatzel Buccaneers Roleplay Eastern Time Zone Main Cannons Fire The Khazars are the most notorious bloodthirsty pirate band on the seas. They're the bane of many merchants in the high seas and are sworn enemies, sworn enemies of Booty Bay. Their base is Bloodsail Hold on Plunder Isle in the South Seas. Even though they are extremely dangerous, they are the least wealthy of all pirate groups, simply because because they don't allow any survivors. They prefer to sink ships than just plunder them.
Scrubulous. <laughs> Roleplay PvP Pacific Time Zone. Grubulus is an undead flesh giant. And it's the second boss in the Abomination Wing of uh, Naxxramas. And now we're coming to the Oceanic Realms. Aragal. PvP. Australian Eastern Time. Arc Mage Aragal was a respected patriot of Gilneas and became a member of the Kirin Tor of Dalaran. After a scorch destroyed Dalaran and most of his population, he fled to Shadowfan Keep above Pyrewood Village. He was so frustrated by the lack of progress and against the advice of his peers, Aragal used Urus research to summon extra dimensional entities to bolster Dalaran's diminishing ranks of his own. This summoning brought the Revenant's warden into Etheroth. The Wolfman did not only slaughter the Scourge, they also turned against the wizard too. So the Worgen sieged the keep of Baron Silverlane, that lied above the Pyrewood village, and the keep quickly fell into shadow and ruins. Aragal was driven mad with guilt, and so he adopted the Worgen as his children and retreated to the keep, now so called Shadowfang Keep. And the last one in our list is Remulus, PB Australian Eastern Time. Remulus was born the son of Cenarius, and like his father, he produced many children as Celebras, Davindra, and several other dryads. <laughs> he has the lower body of a stag, the upper body of an idol of sporting antlers and a long wooden talon for one hand. He maintains the Moonglade, the sacred center of all druidic studies. Remulus is also an important member of the Cenarian Circle, but he is in increasingly conflict with the Knight Elf Archdruid Fenrel Stackhelm. Thank you everyone for watching, have a great day.